was expected, I think. Like, uh, because after all, it's the same administration, the same so called vice chancellor, the same executive council who. This is the original. Who killed Rohit Vengula. So it's, 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 it's not a surprise that they would at least suspend some of us. Uh, and generally, this is part of the retribution or the part of the backlash on individuals who have been part of the movement. Like, like for quite some time now, many of our students have been individually targeted. People, students who have been part of the movement, they have been regularly individually targeted in their own departments, through their own teachers, through their own supervisors, through their heads and deans and so on. And then, uh, you know, this kind of, you know, the way they stole the tent which has been there, you know, from, uh, from the beginning of the struggle. They stole it, you know, sometime in the midnight when no one was around. Then the way they have been issuing orders of you know, asking people not to put up posters or not to put graffitis etc. The way they whitewashed all the graffitis which were there as memory of Rohit and memory of the struggle about Rohit, justice for Rohit. So all these things are sort of you know, part of the vindictive agenda that Aparav has. I mean it started with right after 22nd March when you know he sealed off the university and prevented everyone, like anyone from outside to come inside the university and totally, you know, uh, including the media, including lawyers, including doctors, including Rohit's mother and so on. So, it's part of that same strategy of sort of, you know, like pure intimidation uh, with the hope that that will, you know, sort of, you know, prevent, like sort of set an example so that people think twice before getting into this kind of a struggle which is supposed to be a struggle against this kind of hegemony, social orders. But yeah, I mean, they don't know their history well, like like any other fascists. They don't know that this is the struggle for an nation of caste is there because of the result of blood and sweat of too many people that you know they can't whitewash all that blood and sweat. They can whitewash the paint on the walls, and, but but they can't whitewash Rohit's blood, which is there on their hands. And, and if they think that by sort of targeting individuals, they can sort of you know, put an end to this kind of a struggle, they're utterly mistaken. I mean. That has never happened historically. People have always fought against this kind of oppression. People will fight, we will fight. We will fight it just like we have been fighting this struggle from the beginning. We will fight till justice is done. And till we, at least to some extent, try to put an end to at least structural discrimination in the University of Hyderabad and several other places where, several other educational institutions where this struggle has continuously erupted. And it's still ongoing in various other institutions. So the struggle will go on whether Aparo likes it or not.